The thing is that these don't all exist on my computer. These live on the cloud. And when I just click a file, that's going to just open that file itself. I am nothing asks. The only thing I hate about Google is that even though I selected a stream, still mirrors my files offline. I only want one folder to automatically download on my PC. And then the you know computer option is great for that. But I'm seeing all the files in my drive app in my offline hard drive. I don't want any of these other files to be in my hard drive. So there's two things to kind of cover here. Google obviously have a pretty amazing feature built into Google Drive, which is called, it used to be called Google Drive file stream. It's now just basically called Google Drive. What that does is it allows you to basically see all of the files inside your Google Drive from your local computer. Now, I'm gonna show you this on a Chrome box, which is probably gonna be a little bit different to what you're used to seeing on a Windows machine or on a Mac, and that's that's okay. But you can see here, when I go to my Google Drive, if I click on my My Drive, I can see all the files and folders in my My Drive. When I click on my shared drives, I can see all of my shared drives, and let's open up my marketing shared drive. I can see all the files and folders from my marketing shared drive. Now, the thing is that these don't all exist on my computer. These live on the cloud. And when I just click a file, that's going to just open that file itself. So I'm gonna double click on this PDF here. It's gonna download it in the background. It does it very quickly because I've got a, a pretty quick internet connection. Although this one's now taking its time. <laughs> there we go. Cool, so it downloads that. So that makes things super easy for me when I'm working on my computer because if I'm on a laptop, you know, I don't wanna fill up that hard drive with everything that's sitting on my Google Drive online. So what this allows me to do is see everything but not have to download everything. Now, the person who has asked this question has said, hey, I don't want it to work like that. Unfortunately, there is no other option. You're, you're kind of stuck with it. Uh, it's gonna show you all the files even though it's not going to download all of the files. But if you want things to look a little bit differently, then perhaps you could make use of some more shared drives instead. And so when you set up a shared drive inside of Google Drive, and I'll show you what that looks like here. When we set up a shared drive inside Google Drive, we can have different collections of data inside our shared drives. And so this is my track drive here, which is our marketing drive. So I'll put all my marketing stuff in there. Let's go back to my shared drives here. I can maybe go into my finance drive. That's gonna show me all of my financial documents there. And so here we've basically got everything organized nicely into these shared drives. And I would suggest if you're seeing things on your desktop that you don't really want to see, then maybe make a little bit more intelligent use of shared drives so that when you go to open the files that are sitting on your local computer from your file browser, that's either gonna be you know the Explorer app on a Windows machine or it's gonna be Finder on a Mac, then you're gonna see just the shared drives and you know maybe there's just one that you wanna have your actual documents downloaded to. Anyway, I hope that helps. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. If you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.